How's it going everyone? This is Tom. Welcome back to iOS 6 Cydia Picks episode 4. This is the show where I highlight some must-have tweaks from Cydia. Let's jump straight in. The first tweak is called Flag Paint and as you can see from the first two clips, it colours the notification depending on the app that's sending it to you. So for example, as you can see right here, I get a text and of course the messages app icon is green, therefore the notification is green just like that. Nice and simple and it looks really nice in my opinion. There's also quite a lot of settings that you can configure to try and make it look look uh, to more specific to your device and it also works with theming as well so it's very very cool and I would definitely recommend checking it out that's flag paint next up is called grabby now this is a concept tweak it was uh, started out as a concept and developed from there it's a really really fantastic tweak and it just kind of uh, extends the camera grabber on your lock screen so as you can see there you slide along from the side just like this and then you can gain access to all of your apps such as your phone text and music and you can actually configure those apps so if I swipe up on the messages it actually takes me to tweetbot because I've specified that in the settings just like this within the settings of grabby you'll get the quick launch apps setting and this just lets you set the application so you can go third party or you can customize it to, to something totally random so as you can see there if I just went into camera select uh, for example the camera standard camera app as I'm using Instagram currently and then lock my device and then swipe up from the camera it will go to the current camera application instead of Instagram which was set before and you can do that vice versa uh, and with any application that you so please. You'll need a custom repo for that, but this will be down in the description. The final tweet we'll be taking a look at is called Monocle. Now this just gives you more screen real estate on your iOS device. So I am in TweetBot at the moment and a double tap of the status bar, because that's the activator action that I have set, just gives you, takes away the kind of navigational bar on the top. You can also pair this with Swipe Back, which is another one of Ryan Petrich's tweaks, uh, and that works very well. It's not 100%, for example, in some apps such as Mailbox here, it only minimizes half of the navigational bar, but it's not too much of a problem. Uh, you just need to kind of fine tune the apps which work best. For example, in the Settings app, as I have right here, you can see that it works really well and gives you a lot more screen real estate than you would have had already. If you want to check this out on an iPhone 4 or 4S or maybe an iPod 4th generation, it will kind of give you the same uh, screen real estate as you do on an iPhone 5 normally. So if you want to kind of get a feel for it before you purchase that kind of thing, it's very good to do as well. There we have it, that's this episode of iOS 6 Cydia Picks. As always, let me know yours down below in the description. If we can get to 400 likes from this video, that would be insane, and I'll try and pump out some more content for you this week. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time.